I caught up with Juliet Woods this month. I recently read about her in the April edition of Power of Olivia magazine, where she was featured in a sample of her work, Photographing Trash Out in Nature, was shown. When I saw this, I thought, we definitely need to speak with this person. So I tracked her down through her website, threefoldbalance.com, and here's our conversation. I'm Juliet Woods, and uh, I live south of town, Powell River, and I support people in finding uh, a spiritual practice that resonates well with them, and, uh, and I also take photographs of trash in paradise. That's such a unique combination <laughs> of interests. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they are related, though. They, you know, they, this um, this venture, this photo series, I suppose, began um, while out in in nature and and just in awe and reverence for uh, the beauty and all that it gives us. You know, to to feel grounded and, and revitalized by being out in nature and, and then seeing garbage on the ground, like on the path or, or what have you, um, it just seemed like such a stark juxtaposition and um, I know not everybody goes out into nature for the same reasons and they're maybe out uh, hiking for exercise or this kind of thing, but it just seems like such a strange dichotomy to, to be in this paradise and and have it littered. like how can you yeah put stuff yeah garbage down in such a beautiful spots but yeah different perspectives and states of mind I guess yeah 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 um, sometimes it's yeah. accidental I know that but yeah you know. totally yeah so you're based in Powell River now I am yeah. yes okay. yeah I actually like, grew up here and then I moved away for I think 15 years, and um, I've just come back home uh, just over a year ago, and uh, I've spent the last 10 years in Squamish, so, so okay. that's where this began, and I've brought it home now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so y- about 10 years ago, you started photographing pieces of trash out in nature? Um, <laughs> no, I would say for about two years, maybe a little bit more than two years, but it wasn't very focused or organized. I just would sometimes post it on Facebook and with a little, you know, I, I try to keep it, um, I try to keep the commentary, you know, a little bit tongue-in-cheek or, or a little bit light um, in, in some ways so that it's not overly depressing. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, and then, and then I just was doing it so often, I thought, oh, I need to put this into an album, and so it just started with a Facebook album, and then I thought, you know what, maybe maybe an Instagram feed would be a good spot just to, to upload quickly and keep everything nice and tidy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's so great. Um, do you, like, when you're photographing um, the trash out in nature, do you reposition it sometimes to capture it, or do you leave it in place? Um, there was, there, you know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll, um, if, if I see something on my, um, at the beginning of a walk, I'll, I'll set it up on a log or something so I see it on the way back because mm. I usually end up with very full hands or bags or this kind of thing by the time I'm, I'm done. And um, so once in a while I'll set something up on a log to sort of um, find it again later. But, right. um, but usually I try not to. It's sort of... Uh, just the way that I find it and you know I try to have a, an angle or, or a look to it that is somewhat attractive to the eye even though it is garbage <laughs> but um and that's what I noticed in your pieces in the power of our living is I was like wow these are like so beautiful <laughs> and um so I was wondering too like if people see you see what you're photographing what are their reactions and then also for you when you're capturing these pieces and then sharing them on social media what and whatnot if you're trying to convey a message or 
if you have an intention kind of behind why you shared the pieces? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's see. Re- reactions while I'm out in the field, so to speak, or on the beach, um, they vary. Usually people just sort of look at me like I'm a little bit, you know, Strange. nuts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> most people are taking pictures of, like, the sunset, and I'm down here, you know, trying to get a, a nice photograph of, like, a granola bar wrapper or something. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I try to include the sunset, you know, the, the idea is that it's, you know, the stark contrast of, of uh, how, how we are relating to our natural world. You know, it's so beautiful, and yet we're just being so careless um, or, or straight up not, you know, not caring at all and, and mm-hmm. willfully leaving things. And, and so I'm trying to uh, bring awareness to, to that. I have noticed when, when I would be out walking with people that a lot of people do not even see it at all. Um, they don't notice the, the trash, which is great on one hand because once you start seeing it, it, it can be a lot. You know, you can really start seeing just how much there is and, and there's definitely times where I've been a crying mess uh, on the beach for it all. But, um, you know, to bring bring a little bit of awareness to our relationship with, with the natural world. I mean, most people are out there because it's beautiful and they love it. And if they could just see, too, a little bit beyond what we want to see, you know, these nice, typically Instagram-worthy photos, and be like, well, this is what's actually happening. Here, take a look at the ground and see, you know, the, the trash that is here and noticing that. Yeah, yeah, that's, I think, great thing to try to highlight for folks is not to be blind to the little pieces of litter, because it does have a big impact once you kind of look at its its life cycle once it's out in the environment especially plastics they're often yeah. sticking around for so long and i and i think too now that i'm mostly at one particular bay one of the thoughts that i had is just sort of the constant nature of it as far as i can go down there at any time at any day and i will almost certainly find you know, at least a handful, if not a backpack full, in just this one little bay. You know, you can pick it up, and it's nice that people go and they have a day of the year where the, everybody goes and picks up trash, but then we forget that it's actually every day that yeah. it's, it comes back. Um, yeah, that's kind of mind-blowing that just with, like, our waste services that are available, like, we have great collection systems, mm-hmm. how it's still, yeah, getting, there's so much litter out there. So I guess if you've been going to the same bay or just in your time since you've been drawn to photograph this type of work, have you noticed an increase or decrease in the amount of litter that's kind of out there? I think it's the same so far. Consistent. I think it's the same. What what seems to really be an influx is um, if there's been an event or a long weekend Hmm. or... Um, or after a storm, because storms will bring up a lot as well, too. Yeah, um, yeah, that's interesting with events, how when you go to the site after post-event, how much litter there is on the ground. Do you have any other interests with garbage? <laughs> <laughs> well, some people have asked me or suggested that I make art out of it, because I do a lot of art. I, I paint and I sculpt and I do lots of um, different art and I really have no desire to to do any art with garbage. Um, it's garbage. <laughs> you know, when you can dress it up nice, you know, I try to take these nice photos of things, but I, I think um, to, to make it into something artistic or beautiful, almost uh, a little bit of permission for it. And um, when people do say to me, often um, on on social media, they'll you know they'll say, oh, thank you so much for 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 doing this, for picking it up, and and for taking it away. And my response is often, you know, I'm not actually removing it from this from the environment. From you know, I might be taking it out of that particular ecosystem, but even when I take it home and I recycle it, you know, a lot of times they're not they're just recycled into plastic that breaks down even smaller next time, mm-hmm. or they shipped, a lot of our garbage gets shipped um, to other places, other countries, this kind of thing, and so I'm like, I, I try to say, 
you know, it, it, it's good, yes, but it's also not really a solution in itself, you know, and, and to really bring that um, into, into focus, yeah. Yeah, such, yeah, big, big topics, really. It's not just a granola, granola bar wrapper. Like, there's so much more to the story and conversation, which is, like, hard to wrap your head around. But I think you are making art with it through the, the photos, um, in one sense and then it's um inspiring that conversation to like oh yeah we have this beautiful sunset or beach but then when we look down kind of what do we see and then what does that mean to us yeah you know and i i, I do see a lot of um folks that take photos of, of trash that they they pick up or um some of these really um heavily, heavily polluted, you know, we're quite lucky where we are. There's definitely parts in the world that are much heavier with the, this burden, um, but really quickly overwhelming, and then people shut down, you know, when it's when it's too hard to see or when it's too depressing, you know, it's kind of why I try to keep the commentary sort of tongue-in-cheek or, um, you know, some something a little bit funny, not to make light of the issue, but because if it was if it was too heavy, too much, um, p- people just sort of shut down, and it's too hard to take in. So it's a it's a bit of a means to reach people, I think. Yeah, yeah there's enough heavy stuff in the news these days too. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Good to have some um, light encouragement. And the, and I forgot to you, you asked me earlier about if I ever set the pieces up and arrange, and I forgot that there was a time that I did um, collect up the trash and I would lay it out. Uh, There used to be, down at the beach here, there used to be um, a a table that uh, had a good solid dark background to it. And so I would come out uh, from my walk and I would line things up and sort of put them in a nice arrangement. But they took that table away. (laughs) And so it did encourage me to take more photos on, on the scene, I suppose. Right, just in place. Um, and you mentioned earlier when we were on the phone that you have a son. Um, is he at all interested in this, or <laughs> does he help spot trash out for you to photograph when you're out on walks? Um, you know, I think for not just him, but, but for a lot of people that I walk with, there seems to be two camps. There's either the folks that um, support and sort of are with me while I take my time, yeah. and then there's other people who just want to, like, well, we're out here for a walk, you know, or we're out here to enjoy where we are, yeah. and, um, and you know, I do stop a lot. There's a lot of, there's a lot more than I actually post. I, I, I don't post at all by any stretch, and, um, but I, but I, so I take, I stop a lot to take photos, and I take nice photos, too. I like to show, you know, um, just how beautiful of a place we live in, so, I think, um, depending on the day, sometimes uh, he has space for me and my stuffing, and other times he, he does not. <laughs> he just wants to get going. Yeah. yeah. Um, so where can people view your photos? Uh, the best spot would be on Instagram. Um, I ha- I, it's titled Lost and Found, but I think you can oh, find me that's great. under Juliet Faye Woods. Okay, and then Facebook? Facebook. Mm-hmm. I do have a public album on Facebook. Yeah, same thing, just my personal profile. Um, same thing, Juliet Faye Woods, and uh, there's a public album called Lost and Found, Please Claim. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's a great title. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then just for our listeners, too, if they're interested in um, some of your other work or what you do as uh, threefoldbalance.com, yeah, so they can yeah. go and check you out. Yeah, would you like to mention anything else? Sure, yeah. If, if you actually go to threefoldbalance.com, there is a page that links to a Society6 account. So if there was a photo that was appealing, um, uh, you can have it printed up on, uh, you know, either as a print or, or on an item like coffee coasters, this kind of thing. So that's something. And I do have a, a Patreon as well. Um, if anybody wanted to pledge a dollar a month, um, it just helps cover cost of garbage because I, you know, I live south of town, so I, I, I pay for the garbage when I take it away, and I do recycle all that I can, and yeah. more that I can spend time down there 
doing it, um, the better, really. So um, mm-hmm. that's, that's something if, if someone feels inclined. Yeah. Great, and that's on your a link to that on your website? Yes, there yeah. is, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, well, thanks so much. You've inspired me to, I think, take some more photos of trash when I see it, especially down yeah. on our coastlines. I sometimes just look at it and get not so great feelings. And um, I think one way to help kind of offend those is, yeah, to try to photograph it in an inspiring way to hopefully get people to rethink um, if well, they've... If you put it on with the hashtag lost and found, ah, okay. um, we, we do that sometimes and sometimes we'll, friends and I will sort of, um, almost like a little poker game, like, I see your plastic straw and <laughs> I see one, you know, beach cabbage or something. Food seems to be something that gets found a lot. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do it. Post, okay. post them and, and use that hashtag so we can find you. Yeah. Little, a little community together. Yeah, that's so awesome. I love that idea. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks, yeah, so much for taking the time to speak with us today. And we look forward to seeing more of your work. Oh, oh thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And, and it was just awesome to, uh, to talk with you. Thank you. Just a tiny update for listeners. After that interview, I went for a walk down to the beach and brought my camera thinking that I would probably find a piece of trash down there, and I did, and I took my first photo of trash in paradise, and I used the hashtag lost and found please claim, and um, it was pretty awesome. I encourage you to do the same thing when you're out there.